Literally nobody expected this, and this is despite a now really coordinated onslaught by the mainstream media against Bernie Sanders. I don't know how, you know, what uh, what the Boston papers are writing every day, but every day the New York Times has a new uh, front page piece uh, purporting to show how uh, Sanders is disrupting his own legacy or <clears throat> is in the race simply to harm Hillary Clinton. That was Friday's headline. I mean, it's really, you know, they're shaming him, they're ignoring him, they're pestering him. Mm-hmm. Doesn't matter. He's perfectly content to try to show. Democrat voters that he is the guy that might beat Donald Trump. And I think he makes a couple of very good cases. One is the polls show that in a head-to-head confrontation, he's a stronger candidate than Hillary Clinton against Mm -hmm. Donald Trump. Mm -hmm. Uh, And, you know, uh, and that her unfavorables obviously are much, much worse than his. Um, But also he makes the case, which I think is valid, that a lot of the superdelegates uh, behind that are supporting Hillary Clinton attached themselves to her campaign before he was even running. So in his view, that was sort of, that sort of preempted any real fair assessment of the field, which I think is true. Uh, now he is still behind, obviously, in pledge delegates, not, not including the superdelegates, but his, you know, his camp is saying, look, if we do really well in California and really well the next several weeks, we may still win this thing in the, in the uh, committed delegate count. And then it's really up to the superdelegates. So, you know, it's just a pretty fascinating uh, uh, confrontation.